some uh, sign of stuff for a better motion in C Sharp. This is BFX Crafted, and this is an example of what you can do with it. So, if you didn't know, a sine wave is a function in the math class which you can use to uh, do a lot of awesome stuff with, such as trigonometry, getting distances from angles, and stuff like that. And uh, it's all quite complicated, but can be very simple. So, basically, all you need to do for motion is set a value to the sine of a certain variable times a certain amount plus a certain amount, so that's basically it. Alright, let's get right into this. So, uh, basically, uh, right, I'm gonna just stick this piece of uh, drawing code in the description and also these two uh, functions that I need to call before and after it because that's not the focus of this tutorial. Uh, you can see that it's using the position.x and y which have been set up here, or not set but just initialized, and it's 100 width and height for the square that I'm going to be rendering in this video. So, width and height is uh, here, but that is unnecessary. So, um, I'm going to leave that. Um, so, you want two variables for this video, specifically position and sin timer. Vector 2 for position and float for sin timer. So, rushing through this because uh, it's quite fast, slow, well, not really fast. Um, it's quite a short video, so no need to make it extra long. So, I'm just going to increase sin timer, uh, basically, because uh, that is what is modulating the sine function. Uh, which I cannot explain really well, but uh, I'll try and explain it while I'm doing it. So here, I'm just going to set the position dot x to be equal to uh, uh, math dot sin of uh, sin timer. So what that's going to do is. Uh, I'll just uh, stick in float there actually, because it needs to convert to float because typically it's uh, coming in as a double, which is the wrong type of variable. So basically, what it's doing is it's uh, setting the angle to the sin timer, which is basically making it so that uh, like the more it is, the uh, the greater on the x and y that the function's given. Um, obviously. Um, you might not know that uh, sine is mainly for the x and cosine is mainly for the y because um, they kind of work together and uh, I might show you a bit of that at the end of this video but um, yeah so basically that's it so that's given a minus one to one value so all we need to do now is uh, stick in another set of brackets real quick um, multiply that by however uh, much you want to do it by, so I'd say 100 and uh, plus, let's say 200, so that it's got a 200 offset um, it's going left and right by 100 pixels from the centre so yeah, um, I'll just run that right now and I'll show you what the output is so this is literally all it's doing, um, moving it back and forward smoothly Although it might be jittering a bit because I am recording. So yeah, let's go back in the code and I'll show you how we can implement this on the y-axis. So, uh, y-axis implementation is actually extremely easy. Um, all you need to do is do position.y equals, then the same sort of thing, float, not float, uh, math.cosine of the sin timer. And then let's do times 100 and plus 200, just so that it works quite well. So that is a very simple piece of code that is very effective, as I will demonstrate in a minute. So this is basically what it's doing. Um, it creates a circle, as you can see, because the angle is increasing. So yeah, it's awesome. Um, there's a lot of different applications for this. Uh, simple techniques. So, uh, good luck. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, just see what you can do with it. Do something interesting, knock yourself out. So, I just want to thank you for watching the video because if you made it this far, then yeah, you're obviously a, f a supporter. Um, but yeah, um, it's been great making this video. So, yeah, I think I should do more videos like this. Uh, I think this is a sign. 
yeah, but seriously, I'm here all night. Um, but if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, smash it with your face even. So, um, but, uh, but, uh,